The U.S. announced a new military aid package to Ukraine. As part of the package, Ukraine will receive missiles, HIMARS ammunition, artillery shells, anti-tank weapons, M1117 armored vehicles, and other military equipment. This package will, for the first time, include, which can hit targets up to 110 kilometers away. This package includes the authorization of a presidential drawdown authority package, which has an estimated value of 375 million US dollars, to provide Ukraine additional capabilities to meet its most urgent needs, including, air-to-ground weapons, ammunition for rocket systems and artillery, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons. The new package contains, in particular, air-to-ground munitions, ammunition for high-mobility artillery rocket systems, 155mm and 105mm artillery ammunition, tube-launched, optically-tracked, wire-guided missiles, Javelin and at 4 anti-armor systems, M1117 armored security vehicles, mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, light tactical vehicles, armored bridging systems, small arms, patrol boats, demolition equipment and ammunition, spare parts, ancillary equipment, services, training, and transport. The Pentagon highlighted that this marks the 66th package of military equipment the Biden administration has supplied to Ukraine from U.S. stockpiles since August 2021. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that the United States has allocated $7.9 billion in new military aid to Ukraine and imposed new sanctions against Russia, I am grateful to U.S. President Joseph Biden, the U.S. Congress, and both parties, Republicans and Democrats, as well as the entire American people for today's announcement of significant defense related to Ukraine, amounting to a total of $7.9 billion, and for imposing sanctions against Russia, the President stated. The head of state also thanked the United States for finding a way to allocate the remaining previously designated funds to ensure that the President's authority to allocate aid would not expire before the end of the U.S. fiscal year. According to Zelensky, the new military assistance will include an additional Patriot air defense battery, other air defense systems and interceptors, drones, long-range missiles, air-to-ground munitions, and funds to strengthen Ukraine's defense industrial base. Additionally, the U.S. is expanding its pilot training program for F-16s and has imposed sanctions on Russia to limit its ability to finance the war against Ukraine. We have always valued the strong bipartisan support in the United States and among Americans for Ukraine's just cause of defeating Russian aggression, Zelensky added. President Putin's spokesperson Dmitry Peskov on Wednesday sharply criticized Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's who called for unspecified global action to force Russia into peace. Such a position is a fatal mistake, Peskov said. On Tuesday Zelensky dismissed the notion of peace talks with Moscow, calling instead for unspecified global action to force Russia into peace for invading his country and to comply with the UN Charter's requirement that every country respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all other nations. The Kremlin spokesperson claimed that it was a profound misconception, adding that it will inevitably have consequences for the Kiev regime. Peskov also rejected UK Foreign Secretary David Lammy's accusations at the UN Security Council meeting of Russia tearing up UN statute. We do not agree with this position, Peskov said. He added that Russia acts in accordance with all principles and norms of international law, which includes protecting its legitimate interests. Вот 
том числе защищая свои законные интересы. И, конечно, конечно, Россия выступает категорически против применения двойных стандартов в трактовке международного права. Этим славятся и Великобритания, и Соединенные Штаты.